Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fibroid uterus with Nebuthian cysts. A 41 years old female patient came with low abdominal pain and menorrhagia. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see the uterus is bulky. A well defined round hypoechoic area is noted at the posterolateral myometrium. You can also see an anechoic area at the cervical region. This anechoic area at the cervical region appears to be a Nebuthian cyst. You can see another one here. Now let's look at the lesion of the uterine body. This round hypoechoic area at the lateral aspect of the uterine body is a fibroid. Now to evaluate more with transabdominal ultrasound, we should magnify the image using the zoom option of the machine. Let's do it. This is the magnified image. You can see the lesion well here. And at the cervical region, you can see multiple anechoic cystic spaces of variable size, suggesting Nebuthian cysts. And this hypoechoic area at the uterine body has a thin hyperechoic margin, which appears to be the pseudocapsule, usually not well visualized in each and every side of the fibroid, but you will see it in continuously at the margin. Here we have put the color doppler and with color doppler you can see the supplying vessels originating from the adjacent arcuate artery. The vascular pattern is predominantly peripheral which is common in case of fibroid uterus. Here is the picture you can see multiple nebothian cysts along with a well defined hypoechoic round area at the uterine body indicating a fibroid uterus. Here is the measurement of the largest Nebuthian cyst. The uterus is also bulky. Here is the measurement of the fibroid. If you check carefully, this hyperechoic thin line is the pseudocapsule, which is well visualized at the anterior part here. And on color Doppler, you can see predominantly peripheral flow. Here we have taken a spectrum from the supplying artery, which is showing a moderate resistant flow pattern. The resistive index is 0.72. If you check our previous videos of fibroid uterus, then you can understand what resistive index we commonly get in case of fibroid and what we get in case of degenerative one. So don't forget to check them. So in summary, a bulky uterus is seen. There is a well-defined round hypoechoic area at the right posterolateral myometrium of the uterine body indicating a uterine fibroid. Color Doppler shows predominantly peripheral flow. The supplying artery shows moderate impedance flow. There are also tiny well-defined oval anechoic cystic spaces at the cervical region indicating Nebuthian cysts. Now the take-home message. The fibroid should have an echogenic thin pseudocapsule which helps differentiate between adenomyosis and fibroid though they may present simultaneously. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.